Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Printify to your Amazon. If you already have your Printify account, you can actually connect your store to Amazon to widen your customers. So if you would like to reach more customers, you can connect two of your online store together and Printify actually allows you to connect your online store to another store. And to do that, all you have to do is basically to go to your store, click on manage my store, and then you're going to want to click on connect. And over here, you're going to be able to see all of the channels that Printify allows you to connect to. They have Etsy, Shopify, TikTok US, Walmart, Printify, Popup, eBay, Squarespace, Wix, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, PrestaShop and API. But if you notice, there is no selection for Amazon's right here because Printify no longer allows you to connect directly to Amazon. So in order to connect your Printify account to your Amazon, you're going to need the help of a third parties. But before we go to the third parties, here are several things that you will need to pay attention to when you want to connect this to account. So the first one is obviously you're going to want to pay attention to your product. So the reason why you will want to connect your Printify to your Amazon, like I said, is for you to widen your customer. But if you don't have any listing or any product on your Printify, all of that are just going to go in vain. So make sure that you have products to be sell. And right here, I already have one and I'm going to show you how you can create a listing on Printify. All you have to do is go to your dashboard and if you scroll all the way down, you're going to find this trending now product and go ahead and click on see more. And then you can start and choose anything from the product that are listed over here. So if you haven't known yet, Printify actually only gives you a list of products that are going to have prints on it because this is a print-on-demand sales website. So go ahead and take a look at the stuff that you can design and make sure you put on a design on whatever it is that you would like to sell. Let's say that I want to sell this acrylic ornament right here. To design your product, all you have to do is click on the product and then click on start designing. And to design your product, you can always take a look at the graphic that they have. So you can use on the graphic that Printify already have, but I don't really recommend this because it's going to make your product seems mainstream and it's not really original. So I really recommend you to create your own design with Canva or any other designing tools that you like and then upload it to Printify and use it as your design. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload a design. So I've created some cute sushi design earlier. I'm going to go ahead and let's say use this one right here. So this acrylic ornament are going to have this sushi print in the middle of it. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. So let's say this is going to be my pictures. And fun fact, you can actually upload more than one. So let's test it out. I'm going to upload, let's say, this one and maybe this one right here. So I'm going to upload them one by one. So you can add more than one design if you want, if you have multiple designs like I do. You can add everything and just adjust it. So let's say I want to have this three pictures right here. I'm going to adjust the size. All right, so let's say that this is the design that I'm going with. And then I can also select some variant. If this product does have variant, but it doesn't, it's totally fine. And then I can also take a look and preview on how my ornaments are going to look like. So this is what I like about Printify. It gives you some real life pictures so that you will know 
how your end design are going to look like. So I have my front view, my back view, as well as a sort of real life point of view of my pictures. I always like to take a look at it first to make sure the design that I'm inserting are good. And I think that they look cute enough. I'm going to go ahead and save this product. And again, you can take a look at the preview if you want, add up some details. I'm just going to add some additional info to my title. It's going to be sushi acrylic ornament, and then I'm going to save as draft. All right, so I finished adding my product, and these are the ones that are going to be able to be sold to Amazon. Once I got my product, the next thing I'm going to do is to create my Amazon account. If you want to create, if you want to connect both of these accounts, you're going to have to create a new seller account on Amazon. And you can do that by going to Amazon, click on sales, and then sign up for their seller account program. You can go ahead and sign up and then you can, they're going to ask you to provide some information such as government ID, etc. So make sure you fill everything to, as true as can be because you don't want them to reject your seller account application. So make sure you fill everything wonderfully. Once you've done filling all of the detail and you got your seller account, now you can finally connect your Printify to your Amazon seller account. And like I said earlier, we're going to need the help of a third parties because Printify no longer allows you to connect your account directly to Amazon from their web page. So what we're going to do is you're going to find this third parties called Order Desk. And this third parties are going to be the one that allows you to connect your Printify to your Amazon account. So go ahead and go to your order desk. Once you get on to order desk, you're going to want to try to find for Printify. And now you got this. So obviously I'm not a supplier, so I'm going to use this Printify and then I'm going to click on connect to Printify and it's going to bring you to your Printify account and it's going to ask you to give your store name so I'm going to go ahead and add then I'm going to grant access And now I got my Printify on my order desk. And then you're going to want to insert the detail. I'm just going to skip it for now, then go ahead and click on Save Changes. Now that we got our Printify here, we're going to want to integrate our Amazon. And over here, there is a multiple Selections for Amazon, so feel free to choose it depending on which countries your Amazon is settings in. There's North America, Europe, Australia, and Japan. I'm going to use this North America one. Go ahead and click on Enable. And then you're just going to connect it to your Amazon Seller Center account that you have created. And once you're done connecting those two, it's going to show us over here that your Amazon and Printify is already connected. Once you've got your Amazon and Printify connected, don't forget to frequently check on the order. You will have to check on both websites in order to keep on track on all of the order you might get on Printify as well as on Amazon. And with Order Dash, you also have the options to integrate more websites. As you can see, the available integrations below have a lot of selection, so feel free to try on connecting multiple websites or to connect more websites to the other. So that is it. That is how you can connect your Printify with your Amazon seller account. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.